Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I'm your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they want, need, and desire by helping them implement simple tips and proven strategies. So we're going to be talking about introvert versus extrovert relationships. We're going to talk about what an introvert is versus an extrovert. Then we're also going to talk about, we're also going to talk about the things that introverts want you to know the things that extroverts want you to know how to date introverts etc so definitely go ahead and stay tuned specifically today we're going to be discussing are you even in an introvert extrovert relationship these videos are actually very personalized for me I guess not personalized but personal to me in the sense that I am the extrovert and my husband is the introvert so we're going to discuss these things right after this All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So an introvert versus an extrovert. Are you in that type of relationship? I know that, again, these things are pretty personal to myself. However, I came here to share this with you guys because I'm assuming that there are extroverts out there and introverts out there. And maybe you're in an introvert-extrovert relationship, but you're needing some clarification on what's right to do, not what's wrong to do, just how to actually communicate and converse and understand the person that you are in a relationship with. <laughs> so an extrovert is a person who gains their energy from being around other people, from having lots of conversations, from being open. Um, they don't, they do like to, to, you know, spend time apart at IE me time, but, um, they don't like to, they only like to do it every once in a while. All right. So that those are just some of the characteristics. I I will definitely go into what an extrovert is in another video and um, what an introvert is in another video. But just some of the things for the introvert as well. They gain most of their energy when they are away from people, when they can go away and recharge themselves. They are definitely really intellectual, um, at least most of them. And they definitely like their me time for sure but uh, we're gonna, like I said we're gonna talk about all of those things in a different video so we're just gonna discuss just some of the things that introverts versus extroverts do um, just throughout the relationship so again you can specifically um, just try to understand your boo a little bit better so <laughs> one of the things that an introvert likes to do versus what an extrovert likes to do is after a fight an argument, a disagreement, they like to go away and be by themselves so they can think. An extrovert, on the other hand, wants to talk, 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 talk about what's actually happening. So when you are in a relationship with an introvert or with an extrovert, that can be a little bit awkward. However, there are some things that you guys can do, which is to compromise. Sometimes you can talk about it right then and there, or maybe you can mention one or two things and then say, hey, like if you're the introvert, hey, baby, I need to go away and just think about some things. I'll get back to you. If you are the extrovert, you can say, you know what? <laughs> I actually do want to talk about some, some of these things. Talk about one or two because you know that your partner, your spouse is an introvert that you can say, you know what, I know that you need to go away and think about these things a little bit more. So we'll definitely come back and talk about them a little bit later. Another thing that introverts do versus extroverts. Introverts, even though you guys are in the same space, in the same house, in the same apartment, they still need and want their alone time. Don't take it personally. A lot of times they have so many things on their mind and they, they always think, 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 thinking. Again, extroverts do not take this personally. Just go ahead and find something else for you to do until they're ready to come out of their shell. And truth be told, sometimes they will stay in their shell the entire day. So you really have to figure out, you, to be in an introvert-extrovert relationship, you cannot be the clingy type or the person that's going to take everything personally because definitely the relationship is not going to work out. So if you don't have your own life outside of your spouse, being in this type of relationship probably will not work for you because introverts need their space. Inter introverts need their space even though you guys are in the same household together. You might want to talk. 
they don't want to talk. And vice versa. Because even in my own household, sometimes I don't want to talk. But because my husband is an introvert, a lot of times when he does want to talk, I just go ahead and talk. Because I know, <laughs> like, I'm waiting for him to talk. Like, come on, let's talk, 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 talk. And uh, that's another thing. Introverts, just, just a side note. <laughs> introverts, do they really don't do well with small talk. They want to get deep down in the dirty, dirty when it's time to talk. Um versus that small talk and, and my husband is totally like this i'm like well how was your day babe anything exciting happened you know i'm coming with my questions he's like no yeah no <laughs> so i'm just like okay one day i'm just gonna stop asking but uh i don't want to <laughs> <laughs> so maybe I won't stop asking, but you get my drift because I know that this is a part of his personality. Most days I just, I don't take it personally. I just think to myself like, myself like, oh, okay, he need one of those days or he need one of those times. So when he is in the mood to talk, I definitely, whether I'm in the mood or not, most of the time I just go ahead and listen because <laughs> he don't talk much. But when he do talk, woo, he can talk. <laughs> when he does talk, that joke can talk. And I tell him, oh my God, you're not tired of talking. <laughs> Because some, some days I don't want to talk either. They just happen to sometimes not match up on the days that he want to be quiet. I also want to be quiet. They just don't match up some days. <laughs> another, another difference between the two is that your date nights might be something completely different. The introvert is going to want to stay home with you, chill out. The extrovert is going to want to go out and do something, be around other people. And so your ideas about what a perfect date night looks like is going to be different. <laughs> Again, definitely some adjustments and some compromise to be in this type of relationship. Which actually brings me into point number four, which is introverts don't like to be around a lot of people because it drains all their energy. It takes a lot of energy for an introvert to be around a crowd of people for long periods of time. So if you're in a relationship and you are the extrovert, you're introvert, if you want to go out someplace... You can compromise in the sense that you guys can only go for a short period of time because you know that it drains your boo to be around all those people. Or you guys can drive separately and your boo can just sneak out <laughs> when he or she needs to get away and be by themselves. And then you can stay a little bit longer because he or she understands that you, the way that you get your energy is being around is being around people. And the way that you get your energy is actually being away from people. So there are ways to definitely compromise, to still go out and um, get your social interaction. But the introvert is not going to want to stay as long as the introvert would. So you just have to keep that in mind. And again, I already gave you two examples of the things that you can compromise and do. So both of you are satisfied. You're satisfied that your introvert came with you. The introvert is satisfied that they get to walk away and leave without having to explain or an argument later on. Just understand who you're in a relationship with and you don't have to worry about these things. Again, communication, discuss these things so neither party is pissed off. It's like, you know what? My baby is an introvert. He don't want to be around all those, all those people. And okay, let's move on. <laughs> I want to stay. He want to go. Let's do it. <laughs> That's it. The last thing to think about, I actually kind of already mentioned it, which is... Once your introvert is really comfortable with you, they will talk your damn ear off. They will not shut up. <laughs> and I love that my husband, like I'm speaking from experience, I love that my husband is comfortable with me. But some days, like I already mentioned, some days I don't want to talk. And of course, that'd be the day that he wants to just talk my damn ear off. And some days I just got to shut him down. But for the most part, like I already mentioned, I just go ahead and just listen because... When he, when he is in his quiet moment, sometimes I just want to talk. But it's, it's not the day for us to, uh, uh, you know, compromise or work things out. So I just find other things to do. It's not hard. I always have something to do. But sometimes I just want to talk. <laughs> I'm the expert. I'm a talker. I want to talk, 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 talk. Anywho, y'all. <laughs> All right, fam, so these are just some of the things to think about if you are in an introvert 
versus an extrovert relationship. I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section about down below. Are you an extrovert? Have you ever dated an introvert? Or are you an introvert and have you ever dated an extrovert? How did that relationship work out? I think that the relationship absolutely can work out. Obviously, I'm married to an introvert, so they definitely can work out. These are just some of the things that you have to understand about yourself. This might might not be the type of relationship that you can coexist in, and that is fine. They're not for everybody. However, if you are in an introvert-extrovert relationship, just understand who you are dealing with, who you are in a relationship with, so you can cut down on the misunderstandings. If this sounds like your type of relationship, maybe you need to ask your partner outright are they an introvert because you can already tell if they're an extrovert but if they're an introvert sometimes you can think that the person just doesn't like you or they're they're just feeling like you, you feel that there's something wrong with them in the moment and it has nothing to do with that they just are quiet